Well, I'm excited about this one. We've just been to Walmart for some shopping and I saw this thing. Adventure Force Nano Boat. The size. There's my hand. Absolutely tiny thing. And I thought, right, got to get this for less than $13. 2.4 gigahertz. Full function. <laughs> and apparently for some reason the controller is waterproof. Anyway, I'm just interested in how this thing goes and how it goes and etc. So, next thing, take it out of the box, give it a try. And here it is out of the box and it's currently charging, denoted by that red light. I'm quite impressed with this in a way because the charging port is on the top. You just flip up a thing at the top of the controller and plug it in. Apparently 15 minutes later it's ready to go. It seems, looking at those two propellers, it seems to be differential thrust. Uh, which would make the most sense. Apparently if it gets wet, or at the end of each play session, you're supposed to turn it upside down and drain the water out. But uh, this is going to be some fun when it finishes. It should be, like I say, about 15 minutes. Also, just a quick note, the three triple A's were already in it. Nearly charged. All done, and it, the controller here blinked a few times with the green light to show pairing, but it won't do anything until it's in water because it's got two little prongs on the bottom. So you need to put it in water to get it going. Here's the owner's manual, by the way, which is which is fine. It just tells you how to charge it and a couple of things that uh, might go wrong, how to change the batteries and whatnot. Perfectly fine manual. I'm going to try it in the sink first. So here we are. And let's see what happens. I mean, I think he's got a super cap in it or something. Because you've got no on-off switch on the boat. There you go. <laughs> yep, it's differential thrust. Right backwards. It scoots backwards alright. <laughs> and as you press it, it shows the light. down the water and with the ever-present Steve the Duck. There is some wind, apologies for wind noise, but I figure that's better if the thing quits on me, it'll come back in to the side. So, put it in the water. There we are. It's alright, it's not that fast, it's kind of fun though. Turns well. Ah, just pressing it, of course, with the the one hand. Yeah, this is quite good. There's nothing wrong with it. I'll put it that way for flipping twelve dollars ninety-seven. Do a raise in the front a bit or something. It just scoots about. It's all right. Let's bring it in and check for any water on board. <laughs> Let's have a look. It feels dry. So, it's a new Bright and apparently it's got a 30 foot range, which isn't a great deal, but at this size it kind of doesn't need to be. I like this. Okay, I've just taken about 20 feet away. Using both hands now. It just works. And there we are. Oh, one last thing. Put it into reverse. Give it a spin. And bring it in. 
So the verdict is it's really pretty good. It missed a couple of the presses of the controller when it was about 20 foot away. But I pressed forwards and it started coming towards me and they're absolutely fine again. It's always good to know the actual limits of these things. Um, it sat quite low in the water in a way because it started to push the water from the front here. But as my wife explained to me, if it had, had more weight at the back, then the reversing would have sent it right into the water. So, all in all, it's quite well balanced. I think this is great for the price, personally. I'll give this a thumbs up. Okay, thanks for watching.